Alright guys, this room is, has been around 31 years since five boys who were from South Korea had disappeared while while searching for frogs. Now, today I'll be telling the story about the frog boys and what happened to them. So eventually, five boys who were from 9 to 13 years old were named Wu Chiu Won, Jo Ho Yun, Kim Yong Yu, Park Chun In, and Kim Yong Sik, who disappeared while searching for salamander eggs in the outskirts of Dengu on a public holiday, which is actually called the Frog Holiday. If I'm not mistaken, I can just search it up and just try and try and just tell you what what that holiday is. What do you even call a frog holiday for them? People would ask that kind of question. Now, this holiday was actually called a, a frog holiday. It was actually called frog holiday. So what happened to the frog boys? The police failed to solve murders of the killer or the killers that took lives of five innocent boys remains unpunished. It remained one of the fam unfamous cold cases in South Korean criminal history. Now, what I was going to say is that this has been like the scariest thing that uh, people would ever see. They uh, didn't search for the boys on the missing remaining parts. So eventually, the reason why uh, these boys apparently want to uh, search for salamander eggs is because it's, it's a holiday, you know, it's a holiday where um, People would search for frogs. It's a Korean holiday, so apparently, um, I'm not too sure what's the name. Their disappearance were uh, received um, widespread, which caused the nation uh, media frenzy. And President of Korea, who was Ro Tae Woo, offered a massive manhunt, and the police, went along with the military, to find them. On September 26, 2002, the remains of the boys were discovered. Where, where they were egg, egg searching. Some signs would show for blunt force trauma. The investigation has been conclusive and the theories about their death, the case remains unsolved as of today. So eventually this one is a very, very scary, scary story. All five boys were from the Dalso circuit of Daegu in South Korea. They attended the same elementary school. A six-child, nine-year-old Kim Tae Rong left the group to go home and eat breakfast. He returned the group after eating, but he decided not to carry for the remainder of the boys because his mother had warned him earlier not to stray too far from home. Now, what I'll just say about these boys, these five boys were alone. These five boys uh, were just switching uh, salamander eggs. And and apparently what I was going to say is that there were supposed to be six boys who apparently um, got mm, murdered or killed. This case actually remains unsolved, apparently. So March 26th, 1991, was a public holiday in South Korea for local elections. And the boys decided to spend the day while searching sal salamander eggs in the streams of Mount Royong in Korea. So eventually, the boys never went home, and they were reported missing. So eventually, what I was going to say is that we thought the boys had died of hypothermia because, because of this. What I was going to say is that the police just taught them. So the man was searching acorns and discovered their bodies, and the parents had rejected the conclusion and demanded a full investigation. So. In conclusion, the boys had got lost due to the authorities of their clothes and they were found tied in knots. The discovery of the bodies of the boys from the village of the boys knew well. The forensic expert found the skulls of the three children show uh, blunt force um, trauma, possibly from metal tools. The police said that the children who had been killed by someone which was flown into the rage. Now, the aftermath was, why would children even wander themselves off? 
Well, the reason why the children wander themselves off to find salamander eggs is because it's a holiday. Not to mention, not to brag about this, but this one is way worse when I'm gonna say this. This is one of the scariest things that happen to children right here. Now, these things are apparently uh, kind of true, they're apparently not kind of true. We don't know yet because um, this case remains unsolved because the boy's um, death has not been found. Now what I was going to say is that don't stray too far from home. You can get severely killed, you know. It's, it's a very bad traumatic experience for the boys, you know. It's a very, very bad traumatic experience for the boys. Now, there was a movie which is actually the day, the year before the Frog Boys died. Come back Frog Boys in 1992 and Children in 2001. Both of them are actually South Korean movies. And these songs refer to the case. So eventually, what I was going to say is on the 30th anniversary of the disappearance, they installed the memorial, memorial monument called the Frog Boy Memorial and the Children's Safety Prayer Memorial. Now, what I was going to say is that if you're under the age of their 18 or some cases you're under the age of uh, 15, you might you might experience yourself trying to wander alone with your friends. Like I mean, it's okay, but don't stray like too far. You can get severely killed. You know, it's like a bad experience. You know what I was gonna say is it's definitely a bad experience for the boys um to wander themselves at night. And apparently, um, this case really happens to children. So what I was gonna say is that please be safe. Please be safe during holidays. Please don't go out by yourself. You can get kidnapped. Always accompany. Always get accompanied by a friend. But don't ever wander yourself alone. Well, anyways, guys, this is me, Wheeling the Tomboy Gamer, signing off.